The Optics and Material Science and Technology Organization at Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory is an organization that supplies optics, repairs optics, and does the material science and technology for optical materials and processes for high energy and high power laser systems for a variety of missions. The primary focus of our SNT is to increase the functionality of our optics, to increase the lifetime of our optics, as well as reduce their cost. Our SNT focuses on four major areas. Optical fabrication science, laser matter interactions with a focus on damage science, chemical and laser post-processing of optics, and finally, we also focus on bulk materials and the creation of new materials for use as optics. In the area of optical fabrication, we, we kind of have two main focuses. The first is the design and also the co-development of processes with our optical fabrication partners to manufacture optics for laser-based missions um, here at Lawrence Livermore and also worldwide. We have developed new polishing methods uh, such as the conversion polisher that enables us to finish flat uh, or spherical optics in a single uh, iteration regardless of its shape. An example of one of the accomplishments of optical fabrication is the development of this nanometer precision optical uh, surface finishing technology called magnetorheological uh, finishing or MRF that has allowed for the fabrication of optics within laser damage resistance and also enables the fabrication of freeform optics. We've also developed meter scale reactive ion beam etching processes uh, which utilizes both a physical and chemical process for etching high resolution nanometer scale grading structures. All lasers are ultimately limited by optical damage to their surfaces, their coatings, and to the bulk. The state-of-the-art lasers that we develop here at Lawrence Livermore National Lab push the limits of optical damage. So we've taken a science-based approach to understanding optical damage. We do this to guide development and use of our laser systems and ultimately to push the lifetime and performance of the optics. One of the most important recent successes was the discovery of the absorbing precursors on few silica surfaces. To treat these precursors, we've developed a chemically-based post-process, the Advanced Mitigation Process, or AMP, to essentially eliminate damage for, at UV light. One of the key results of our, our group is creating the world's most damage-resistant optics and has actually been a key enabler for helping the National Ignition Facility operate at the power and energy that is being used today. Our mission continues to push the limits of what is possible, including new missions in laser material interaction science, lasers for additive manufacturing, laser material effects, and new modes of laser material processing. The Optical and Material Science and Technology Group here at Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory has a long history of developing bulk optical materials for advanced laser systems. Past examples include phosphate laser glass, large single crystals, as well as high-fluence optical filters. Recently, we've begun developing a new class of optical materials that have gradients in composition or structure that we're imparting through additive manufacturing techniques. We're currently pursuing uh, advanced laser gain media, as well as lightweight mirrors and tailored index glass optics. The project is exciting because we're combining advanced technologies from a number of different uh, areas, additive manufacturing, advanced optics, and we're really excited about the possibilities that uh, will come out of this because these new materials, I think, will be useful in areas far outside of uh, sort of the traditional laser system or optical systems and uh, we're really excited to see what advances these materials enable. The success of our new technology is the result of strong fundamental science and technology combined with strong engineering, process engineering, and transfer into production. Our organization has a strong partnership with universities, with optical fabricators, and with other national laboratories to accomplish our goals. It is quite exciting to be part of an organization like this because we are continuing to advance the forefront of optics and we're always doing something new and there's great opportunity to continue to do that going forward.